Shane Carey here for Star Media. Uh, post fight at Bama 24 alongside Victoria still in the tube. I don't, know. I don't think you are made to run anything else in the circle. <laughs> what are you yeah. doing tonight, mate? No, definitely not. Born for you. Born for you. That was just a scintillant performance. I mean, you're out there jumping around, you're bouncing. You just you just seem so happy yeah. to be doing what you're doing. I'm so happy to do this. Uh, you know, when I'm coming out and I just remind myself that it's all a bit of fun. So I get to go out and throw my shots, and uh, my power is coming along as well now. And it's it's a bad time if I fed away. It's, it's a really bad time. The next you're making money off, you're getting paid to do it as well. So it's an extra yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting paid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dylan, you just you're just getting better every fight, man. For an amateur days, myself and yourself fought on the show a couple of years ago. Like, yeah, you, man, of war. Yeah, I wasn't even in SBG at the time. But just seeing the evolution. But you was who think I only started like after Conor you know. But just seeing the evolution <laughs> of you, like not just as a fighter and as your skills, but as as a person, like yeah. you've really come into yourself, like. Mm -hmm. and, I, I've really, really matured, and I owe that a lot to Ash on Daly and Paddy Houlihan, and you know, I have a lot of great people around me, and Ash definitely has put a lot of time into me. And she's moulded me and she's just given me a lot. I used to have a really big ego, like I wouldn't tap her on, and that's gone out of me. I roll with Ash constantly. Oh. And if uh, I roll with Ash constantly and like she catches me in iron bars and all that tap. But like as a patient, she just she showed me just to grow up a little bit, you know what I mean? That not it's not oh, the end of the world. You don't have to be the hardest oh. man in the world to do this. You can be happy and be a great quitter, you know what I mean? So that's that's all I'm doing. And the move to SBG obviously changed oh. the house, brought about the change, this yeah. change with like, you know. I don't, no, it definitely didn't, I don't think it brought about the change of personality, no, it was always... But the, the maturity... The, the maturity yeah. definitely, but I was only a kid, I was only 16 year old kid when I walked into SBG dogs. I was only a kid, you know what I mean, I was a kid that was in trouble, you know, where I had a lot of, I had a lot of bad times, I was very stubborn, and when I went into SBG, I just... The SBG ethos, you know, no hierarchy, nobody's better than anyone. And that's what it is. We all walk in and we're all smiling and we can dance in the middle of the mat. And then Charlie Ward will come up to me and Charlie Ward will be like, what's up Dylan, you know. And we're all happy. We just love it. We, oh, it's, it was a perfect meal for me. And, it's, and obviously you're in Sharp and Zorn as well. We're in Sharp and Zorn. I'm in there daily, like, with the likes of James Gallagher, Tommy Martin, Kieran Clark, Ashton Daly, Paddy Houlihan. Um, oh, the list goes on, the list goes on. Just so many good fighters that are uh, making me better. A lot of current fighters, current fighters obviously out there um, on big shows, but the one who isn't fighting anymore, Mr. Onroddy himself, oh, yeah. we now have you out thrown that knee. Yeah. You landed it absolutely perfectly. Clean. Yeah, I, I've actually been hunting for that for a while. I've been, like I said up in the back, I was like, all the lads were calling me the new, can I get the new for me nickname from the knees because I land them in the gym, as you know, like we trained like, together. But, um, like, I, I was in the, and someone called me the nuke, and I was like, well, I can't be called the nuke because I haven't finished that, and so I better finish this move with a knee, and I went out there and I knew the knee was just, the knee was going, I actually thought it would have been a flying knee to the chin, but then his body was just so old. You can say that with your next one. Yeah, I'll clip someone with something. Speaking, you're never, you're never quiet about who you'd like to fight. Nah, yeah. Is there anybody you would like to fight? No, nah, I don't care. Just don't care. send them at me. Um, uh, I think Cage Royal is April 15th. I did find up, that was a hard fight, and he hasn't been fresh, so I'm going to go again, I'm going to take, take a few days off. Yeah, spend some time with my lovely little sister and uh, spend some time with my nannies and, and the good loyal circle that I have with people around. You know, we're going to bask in this now, we're going to have a good time. Well, listen, doing your team and your sponsors, anybody you'd like to give a shout out to? Yeah, of course, Reincarnated Tattoo, uh, Dublin. Uh, couldn't do it without you. Uh, Paleo Field, Ireland, they look after my nutrition. And um, I also have Snap, thank you for printing these amazing shots. Oh, x -Brand, sorry, I forgot all about x -Brand. I wouldn't be able to do it without x -Brand. They give me my supplements, they look after me so well, and of course, what other 2 one out fighter is sponsored by the Tron? There isn't many, I'm one of them, I'm the only one I think, yeah I am, uh, but yeah, so thank you for all the help and all the, thank you to my team, just thanks, thanks so much, well, I love this. Fantastic performance, thank you, sir. I wish you all the best in the future. Yeah? Thank you, sir.